it is a four by four, so each of them are about two by two. And they're four pictures from Pier 39 from our trip to San Francisco. Now the collage app that I use leaves a little border around each of them. And I decided that I wanted these to be borderless pictures. So I cut it with my trimmer and then I'm just gonna take my little bee scissors and cut off the rest of them. So I am loving the grid layout lately and I am continuing to use the Simple Stories Posh collection and it came with a bunch of two by two cards. So I decided that a grid layout was going to be the best. Now my first intention was to use this yellow background paper and just scatter the two by two cards with the two by two photos. Now a lot of these two by two squares had all of the months on them and so I decided to use the B side of all of them except the one that was August since we went in August. Now I'm going to play with these for quite a while and I kind of like how I have them on the yellow paper but I keep looking at this polka dot paper that I had also pulled out and so here is where I'm going to decide okay I'm going to put them all on the polka dot paper. So I put them on and decided that this was the order I wanted them in but I wanted to jazz up the background a little bit so I just took them off in order so it would be easy for me to to put them back now I have three colors of Heidi shine I have blush sweet mint and navy I start with the sweet mint and I have the hardest time getting enough out to do the packaging technique it seems like it takes me forever and I like to add a little bit of water to give it a little bit more of a watery consistency <laughs> then I decided oh I'm just gonna pour the plush well I poured a lot and I poured way too much and then I decided I'm just gonna go with it so a few splatters fell and then I just did a bunch more of the packaging technique I decided instead of adding the packaging technique of the navy, I was just going to do some splatters to the background. And then I dry it for a little bit just because I have a very limited time to scrapbook and I want to make the most of that time. At this point, I became quite impatient and decided it was dry enough. And I decided that it needed to be backed on a different piece of paper. So here I am just cutting it down about a quarter of an inch on each side. And you can see on the back that it is not dry. And when you tape over wet paper, it just rips the paper. So I got lucky that it only ripped it on the back. Now I'm just taking a piece of navy from my stash and backed that and pulled that color in. So now I'm just going to reattach my squares, but here I find out, oh, now that I've cut my paper down, I cannot fit five two by two squares on the center of the layout. So I'm going to have to make it into four. So they're going to be spread out a little bit differently and I have to decide which one has to go. I'm using my T-square ruler just to kind of get a close proximity of what I want. There's really no good method to this. So I'm just going to tack down a few of them and I have taken it off camera and I did some stitching. Now I stitched all the way around the edge and 
my thought was to stitch kind of in a cross pattern over all of the squares. But because some of the squares had writing on them, I decided that I was just going to pick a couple random squares and actually stitch all the way around them. And I really like how that turned out. So now it's just embellishing. So I have some of the die cuts from the collection. I have some of the items that I have fussy cut out from the cards. And I'm just playing around and deciding what I'm going to like. I added a couple of the clips with the pretty epoxy stickers in the middle. I love those. I think they add a bunch of fun texture. I'm going to add some enamel dots and I think I even get one of those clips on there and I love these fussy cut leaves. They're not leaves. Feathers. scatter them about. That's where the clip goes and I think he's really cute. He's like a little dog or as I wanted to refer to them as a pup because that is what the baby seals are. They're little pups and that's what the picture is above is the seals off on Pier 39. So I'm just going to finish it up with some enamel dots and I hope you enjoyed this process. And I will see you next time. Got some close ups coming so you can kind of see the stitching and the clustering. And oh, I did add some foam to that title in the middle. I forgot. Give it a little more dimension. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and I will see you next time. So remember to wear your crown. Bye.